Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to be explaining the business hours element with the ultimate add-ons for Elementor. So right here we have our contact us page and we want to go ahead and add a business hours section. So let's go ahead and add this over here in this section right here. Let's add a new column. And we're going to put our business hours right here. So let's go ahead and search our elements for business hours and click and drag in that right into there. Now, as you can see, we already have our Monday through Saturday. So let's go ahead and edit this a bit. So for each entry that we have, we have the option to enter the day name, enter our times, and then we have a style this day toggle. And we'll go ahead and dive into that in just a minute. So for the days that we can add all of the entries that we want, we can customize these. We're not, we're not limited to having Monday through Sunday. If you want to, you can have a spot where you do Monday through Friday, and then you can do a weekend. So you could have Monday through Friday, and then a sun, and then a weekend. So you can do something like this. So if you have a consistent hours Monday through Friday, you can go ahead and add that as one, and then you can also do consistent hours for the weekend. So if you're closed on the weekends, you can just put the weekend closed, or you could put Saturday through Sunday here that you closed. If you and if you have one off days that you can just add your items down here, click and drag those into the sections, and then you can go ahead and do that as well. So if we have Tuesday as an exception, we do by appointment only. So we have something similar to this. So as you can see right now, we have Saturday through Sunday and it's red and it's closed. So I'm pretty sure you're wondering how we went ahead and did that. So underneath of the toggle for that, we have style this day turned on. Normally it looks like this, but we have it turned on so it looks like this. Now we can style the day color, the time color, and the background. So we're closed, so we want that to stand out to people, so that is red. But let's say you wanted specific days to be different colors, so you can do that as well. So you can go in and style these however you want. Let's do this, or better yet, let's go ahead and make this white text. And then for the background, we'll go ahead and make this a red color. So we have something along the lines of this. That way people know that we're closed on that day. We have a bunch of other styling that we can do if we go into the style section. We have the row spacing, which allows us, right now it's pre-formatted to have padding at the bottom. But if we go ahead and change this, we can do 10 at the top, 10 at the bottom. And then for left and right, we can do 10 and 10, just so it has a little bit of padding to the left and right. And let's go ahead and do this. Let's change this up so it's 5 and 5. So we have something a little bit styled more there. That way the background color looks a little bit better. Because otherwise, it'll look something like that, and it's a little off if you ask me. So let's go ahead and put our tens back. So there we have that. Now we have the option for divider. The divider allows us to put a line in between each of the entries right here. So if we had more entries, we'd be able to see the dividers go in between them automatically. So we don't have to worry about that. Let's go back to style, and then we have um, options for that. We can style it with solid, dashed, or dotted. We can change the color, so if we want this to be white, we can do that. Change the weight of this, so it can be heavier. And then we also have styling for day and time. So the day allow allotment allows us to do left, center, or right aligned. So have we have left, center, and then right. And then for the time alignment, we have left, center, or right as well. This is really going to affect you depending on how big your columns are. So if you make the column a little bit bigger, you can go ahead and style those a little bit differently as well. Now we have options to do the day color globally. So we can do a global day color. And then we have the options for day topography. So we can choose the font family, the size, the weight, things of that nature for all of those different options for the day. And then we also have all of the time color, topography, uh, and those options 
So we can select those as well. Now underneath we have the striped effect. So right now, let's go back to our default business hours. And we're gonna go ahead and leave it as is. And then we're gonna go back to day and time. I'm gonna click striped effect. So this allows us to have every other row a specific color. So we want the odd row colors to be, let's say, let's say white. And then we'll do the even row colors to be like a slight gray color. We can do that. So we have those options for that as well. It makes it a little bit easier to read if you have a lot of content here because going across the page is a little bit harder for the user if it's all, you know, one single color. So there. So we have that option to do that as well. And then underneath the advanced, we have all of those same options that are in all of our other Elementor add-ons. So if you guys enjoyed this, um, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the like button. It really helps us out. And we will see you guys at the next video. Thanks.